I feel like this is like such an important video to make right now because for some reason I'm seeing people say Axe got gutted this latest patch, which could not be further from the truth. Uh, you know, on Twitter, the subreddit, which I, I checked the subreddit for the first time in a very long time the other day, and yeah, it is really and truly just, just as shit as ever, uh, which is good to see that, you know, that's holding up. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know how that could even, like, okay, Obviously, the weapon is worse. That's what a nerf does to a weapon, right? But Gutted is um, definitely, like, over-exaggerating it a lot. Um, I mean, I think Hammer's been hit harder than X, to be honest, uh, over the last two patches. Like, it, it got some nerfs, one patch, and then... I mean, I think Hammer's been nerfed, like, three patches in a row, right? X, it got, you know, just the little drift nerf that did nothing, and then this patch. You can't even count the other X patch, because it, it, lit it literally quite, like literally did nothing i have to stress that um what did i don't know what this guy's doing this has to be a chosen but anyway um so yeah i, I don't i don't know where it's coming from because yeah the drift is definitely there but you can still move very quick you, like end of the day you have to realize you're doing so much more damage on axe than any other weapon and you still have a lot of mobility it's like they've literally like okay they, in the past they've made scythe have less like <laughs> maneuverability than x uh there was like one patch they did ages ago that i talked about i think a few times now uh where they made it so you just couldn't move with siphoner um and i think that was more impactful than these x nerfs i can't lie especially considering like i said it's a heavy weapon it shouldn't be able to move that quick but it still can like there's nothing to complain about if you play x uh the weapon is still strong oh i dodged the wrong way there bit of a misinput anyway um yeah it's still very strong and and like the hitbox nerfs are good. I, I do... Okay, to be fair, with the hitbox nerfs, I, I think they impact Axe quite a bit. But it's like, the hitboxes never should have been the way they were before in the first place. How do you kill with Katars on Ragnar? I'm used to doing, you know, the the whole end sig on Sentinel. That doesn't really work on stage, on this legend. I guess you just side sig. Okay. That, yeah. I mean, fifth time's a charm. But yeah, it's kind of like when Spear got a nerf, oh, like a while back <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, like, six months, but I realized six months is, like, two patches ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this game is slowed down a bit, but, um, I don't know, probably, like, a year ago at this point, that there was a spear nerf, and it nerfed, um, I think it was the end lag on D-Light, uh, and the, the hitbox on Sir, right? And a lot of, like, spear players were crying about that, and thinking, you know, it's way too much. But it's like, the hitbox never should have been like that in the first place on the Sir, and then, like, the, the D-Light change as well was, like, yeah, Spear D-Light used to just be a jump with a hitbox, which also shouldn't have been a thing, really. Uh, yeah, okay, kill with Nair. There we go. My guitar's just like it. Yeah. Man, I don't know when I'll play another ranked game in Brawl. <laughs> Honestly, it's been, it's, been, it's been months at this point. Uh, but, oh? Okay, yeah, no. I, I'm still a good. Maybe I should play ranked. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying about the Spear thing, it's, like, it, people didn't realise how tapped the spear set hitbox was until it got nerfed and then they were like why was that thing I, I, it, sh it should be the same thing with axe here i mean i feel like most people already knew about the hitbox but the people that you know i guess either played axe or played against axe and didn't like playing against axe and you know paid attention to these uh these nerfs they, they should be thinking the same thing um i want to try and find if i can find like a side-by-side -side comparison of the hitboxes uh on like twitter or something then i'll put it in the video now but uh, I, I don't think I'll be able to do that because I myself haven't seen one. Uh, did I touch? Okay, <laughs> interesting weapon. Um, but yeah, like I said, if I can find one, I'll put it in the video just so you lot can understand how tapped it used to be. So Axe, it used to hit behind you and like very much above you. It still hits a bit above you, uh, but not as bad as it used to. And it also doesn't hit behind anymore, which is good because the Axe hitbox was fully just like a, a, a carry. Like it should have never been like that in the first place uh and same with the end light hitbox on x especially considering how quick that move is too uh it should never have like had that much coverage because like i said it's a quick move on a heavy weapon it's like you know it, it shouldn't have been that good to begin with um so honestly they're good changes and the drift changes just make the weapon feel more like a heavy weapon and there we go i've just summed up the entire axe changes for you and you know not made it sound like the weapon has been completely ruined from the inside out by BMG and they have some personal vendetta against Axe means like TWK is in the queue playing like Lance or something and you know what actually that would make sense 
if he's a Lance main. But um, yeah, you know, he's mashing out Lance and then he just, he has this one axe demon uh, in his rank key he can just never beat. So he's like, you know what? Yeah, let me just go attack real quick. Let me make it the worst weapon in the game. Like, yeah, no, that, that didn't happen. The weapon is still insane uh, and still one of the easiest weapons in the game, uh, you know, relative to the, the reward you get out of it. But yeah, I mean, I think overall, like, the nerfs aren't going to change the meta. I, well, I mean, I think they are, um, but not the Axe nerfs. Like, I don't think Axe is going to be, like, like, anyone who was playing Axe, I don't think they'll hop off of Axe because of these changes, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and if they do, I don't know. I don't think they should. Like, I don't really think there's a reason to hop off Axe if you were prospering with it pre-patch. And I mean, that, that doesn't even go for pro players. That's like, any of you lot, if your, you know, your Axe was really clean before the, the nerf, it's still going to be really clean afterwards. There's there's really no point hopping off it right now. Like I said, I think it's still very strong. Um, but I'll talk more about that and how I think it you know is in the meta and stuff when I finally uh, update the tier list, which I don't know. I might have already uploaded one by the time you lot are seeing this video. Because, uh, yeah, I'm like pre-recording quite a few videos and I don't think I want to upload two tier lists in a row. So I might upload this one in between. So I don't know which one would like, will be out right now, the weapon one or the legend one, but most likely one of them. Unless it's neither, then this is pointless. Um, but yeah, that's basically all my points summed up about Axe and the meta and everything Brawl related for the video. So just uh, allow me to chat about different topics at the end as usual. I, I don't even know. By the way, my voice might have been a bit quiet this video. It's because I'm actually recording so late right now, which I haven't done in so long. I, like, I don't know how I ever used to do this. But man, I, I don't even know how I used to do that. Like, I, I used to... I remember, like, I used to finish recording guides at, like, 8 a.m. without having slept yet. Or, like, I'd, I'd be comfortably sat there recording, like, an, a video, an experimental, at, like, 7 a.m. in the morning. Like, I, as in, like, you know, not after waking up at 7 a.m. in the morning, after staying up till 7 a.m. in the morning. A, a very big difference. Both, to be honest, sound like awful experiences, really, playing experimental at those times. But, like, I think if I did that now, it, it would finish me off. Like, that would be the end of me. I don't, I don't know, like, this this game would hurt my head enough, you know, like, at normal functioning times of the day, if I, yeah, I, I don't know, man, it, it does not sound good, um, but, yeah, a bit of a tangent there, um, I, I wanted to talk a bit about, uh, like, games, which sounds very general, but, um, yeah, like, obviously, all I've been doing in my life at the moment is playing Elden Ring, a, a disgusting amount, like, I think I mentioned it at the end of, like, one of the videos I made, but I played, like, I think it was like was it 60 hours in seven days or so. I think I think it was like 60, yeah, 60 hours in seven days. Or yeah, or something like that, or like 50. It, it, it's one of them. I think it was 60, but like an unhealthy amount regardless. Um, and yeah, it's like I also made a video talking about the fact that I don't really enjoy single player games. So it made me think like, why do I <laughs> enjoy this game so much? Because I never enjoy single player games. Everyone I start, Maybe I will enjoy it, but I'll, I'll stop playing it like 10 hours in and then never touch it again. Like Assassin's Creed Origins, I remember really enjoying that game for some reason. And then I dropped it because I got bored and never picked it up again. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, I did the same thing. Really enjoyed that game. Stopped playing it at some point because I got bored and just collecting dust in the library from then on. But it's like, I think Elden Ring just being so difficult, it's kind of rewarding. Because like, you know, when I talked about you know, not enjoying single player games, you know, I kind of went over why and it's like, there's no real reward, you know, like, it's not a competitive game, so you're not getting, like, you know, how do I even explain it, like, you're not beating real players and, and like, you know, it's not a real challenge, you know, you're yeah, climbing the ranks and the ladders and stuff like that, you're just doing things for, you know, to make, I, I don't even know, it's a weird thing to explain, but, like, Elden Ring, I think it's because, it's like, the game is so hard that, Everything you do is kind of like rewarding. It, 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 like the whole game is just a challenge. And I don't know, man. I think it like... I just enjoy challenging games. Like I enjoy harder games. Because there's kind of like a purpose to it. Or there's there's a sense of reward. Or like I say other people play the same game as you. Which at the moment, everyone you know, as well as me, are playing Elden Ring right now, right? So it's like when you beat a boss or something that other people are stuck on, it's like you can go tell them like, okay, yeah, I just smacked his head. Uh, you can't? <laughs> Dickhead. Like it's just... I don't know. There's something like that. It, it's just... Like, there's, like, actual, like, glory to it, right? There's, there's a reason to do it. Um, I, I don't know, it seems cool. Things like that as well, like Cuphead. 
uh, it's like a, like a pretty hard game. I mean, I, honestly, I didn't find Carpet too hard. I think it's really like overstated how hard that game is, because uh, like people were you know calling it like, like one of the hardest games ever. You know, saying okay, this is. I think that's when the whole debate of like you know games need an easy mode like that started because of um that game Cuphead, right? Which is like I, I played it thinking it was gonna be like, the hardest game of all time, uh, which everyone was making out to be, and it was just really not even difficult. I mean, it was kind of difficult, but it wasn't. The only reason it was difficult at all was because I was going for like S ranks, or not S ranks, I think A ranks, I don't know. Um, but like, you know, doing like getting free stars or whatever on all the stages, which I just I just didn't have to do. Like I was making it hard for myself. Um, so yeah, I kind of got bored of that game as well and stopped playing it. But like, yeah, uh, I, I don't know, sick game. I, I need, definitely need to try different Souls games after I'm finished with it because I'm really enjoying it because it's actually difficult. Like I'll sit there and I don't even get pissed at the bosses. Like, I'll die 20 times in a row. I'll spend an hour doing the exact same thing over and over again. Just just dying to the same shit over and over again. And I'm gassed. I mean, I'm loving every single second of it. Because it's like, you, you're learning the moves that the bosses do. You know, you're you're like actually progressing as well. Because it's like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it's cool. Uh, I, I definitely, I'm going to try like Sekiro, I think, after it. Let me know in the comments if you play that and you know if it's actually a good game. But I'm hearing like that that's like a very good Souls game. Which I guess it's not even a Souls game, but you know, it's made by the same people. It it is a Souls game, basically. Um after that I'll probably try the Dark Souls series. I would do that first, like sh like instead of Sekiro, but it's like it's more of a commitment. I have to play three separate games, you know, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Like, I feel like it'd be so dumb to just start at free. So I think definitely Sekiro first, but yeah. The whole easy mode game thing debate is it, just dumb to me. I don't know. Like, adding an easy mode to games like that just ruin the games. People that want easy mode in, like, difficult games, it, it's just weird. It's just, like, I don't know, man. I, I'd get into it, but it's like it's such a like a big topic. I'd be sat here chatting for hours, so I don't know. Maybe I'll chat about it on stream. Well, I'll talk about it in a different video, but... Just don't add easy mode to hard games. It ruins it so much, I think. But anyway, yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, tier list is either out or coming out tomorrow. One of the two. Uh, the weapons one, at least. And um, yeah, see you lot then. Like I said, have a great few days. Subscribe if, if, if you're not already. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, and peace.